How's it going, YouTube? This is Brandon coming at you again. Um, I'm really excited today. I have a review I've been waiting to do for a very long time. Um, as most of you all might have guessed, it is, of course, probably the next in line. It's not pure coffee. I don't have pure coffee, but um, it is Pure Malt by Teddy Miguel. Um, here's the bottle. Gold star. The star is actually clear. That's the juice on the inside that you see. Um, the back. And the bottom. So, I really don't even know where to start with this. Like you can see on my face, I love this stuff. Um, I start off by saying this is Amen, but put in um, whiskey soaked cast. The the barrels that the whiskey is um, cured and everything in and aged in to perfection. They put Amen in that and let it absorb the whiskey, and it made this. Whoever did that, whoever's idea that was, is a genius. Um, this shouldn't even be called pure malt. It should be called perfect malt. I don't, I don't know. Give it another name. But um, this is unbelievable stuff. If you don't own this, I'll get to that later. I'll get on you later for that one. But... Um, I'll start, it's hard to choose a place to start with this, but um, longevity and projection. Projection on this is unbelievable. On my skin, I get the most projection out of this out of any of the other Therme Miguel or Amen stuff. Um, you can smell this pretty far away. Um, I go three sprays just because I love the way it smells. You know, one on the neck. Um, or I, I don't know. I switch it up sometimes. Sometimes I go two on the neck and just dab the wrist together for one. Um, it's up to you. You figure it out. But this is some good stuff. Um, it is very strong. It's very, very, very intense. I just love the smell so much. Very intense. It lasts on my skin 24 hours. I can wake up and this is still going to be there. So all I can say is you put this on, you're set. You know, this covers all the grounds. There's nothing else you need to worry about. This covers everything. Um, to compare to Amen, since more people have Amen than, than the people that have this. If you have Amen and you didn't like the opening, if you had Amen and you did like the opening, this opening's better. By far. If you have Amen and you love the dry down which is why you probably have amen this dry down is better um on to what this smells like the very beginning it smells like a mixture of berries like wild berries with whiskey just poured all over like somebody just poured a bottle of whiskey over it as you're smelling it at that very moment now some people might say okay that's alcohol Strong alcohol that, that can't smell too good. You're right. Alcohol doesn't smell good. But the alcohol and alcohol doesn't smell good. In this, you don't get the alcohol. You get the whiskey's flavor. The whiskey's scent. If you took the whiskey and just took out the alcohol part and left the flavor and the smell and everything else that makes the whiskey whiskey, that's what went in here. And... It smells like whiskey and wild berries. And the very opening is, it lingers for me for about four hours, three hours. And the whiskey note will never leave. The berries might, they do. But the whiskey note stays to the end, which is a very good thing. And when you smell it, you're not going to believe it if you haven't smelt it before. Um, the dry down is amen on another level. Um, remember the vanilla, caramel, chocolate, coffee you get at the end you get that with this but stronger with the whiskey smells so much better this blows amen away mark was not lying when he said you buy this you won't reach for your amen no more i can see that happening this is very 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 unique and very well done this is my number one fall and winter fragrance when I do my list, I gave it away, but this will be number one. This is my favorite fragrance, period. Mark has his John Paul. Pure Malt is mine. 
Um, this, I, I, I can't wait to the summer to try and test this out because I want to see if I can actually pull it off in the summertime. No lie, I will have my girlfriend on my next video to tell you. She asked me because she licked my neck to see if it tasted like it smelled. That's no lie. I'm dead serious. Um, wild berries with whiskey to Amen's dry down with whiskey. Flawless. This is flawless. Um, <laughs> lost the words for this one. Um, buy, try, or pass. I don't really like to say buy stuff blindly, but buy this blind. If you've never smelt it, you're probably not going to get a chance to smell it. You're going to have to buy it blind. Buy it before it reaches $150 to $200. Right now, it's still going for $60 to $90 online. Buy this before this becomes ridiculously expensive. In all honesty, to all those people out there, I'm finding a way to get three extra bottles of this right now. Because if this is not going to be made anymore and it's discontinued now, I would like to have this for a very, very long time. I'm actually in the works of right now getting me three more bottles. That's how much I like this. Um, occasion. If you're good enough, you can pull it off at any time, but this is definitely a date, night out, club. This is some sexy stuff right here. This is got sexy written all over it. Delicious, sexy, dreamy. I don't even know what else to say. This is amazing. Um, Amen is good. This is unbelievable. If you don't have this, buy it. I don't care if you don't think you're going to like it. If you get it and you don't like it, you can resell it on the internet for the same price you bought it for. Matter of fact, if you don't like it, let me know. Send me a message. I'll buy it from you. Because I'm stocking up on this. Um, the only other thing I can say, I think I've said everything you can say about this. It, it's, it's unbelievable. Also, if anybody from Dave McGlay is listening to this, you don't discontinue this. Being a business person in a corporation or whatever, this becomes permanent and you discontinue amen. And consumers may not like what I'm about to say, but in the standpoint of money, you make this $150 and you sell this. People will buy this. I will pay $150 for this. I'm not lying. Because there's nothing else that smells like it. There's nothing else out there. You don't discontinue this. This is a moneymaker. You let this stay. You discontinue Amen, and you raise the price on this, and people will still buy it. That's how good this is. Um, if you don't have it, go get it. Before it reaches a real expensive price, it's still going for a decent amount. One more look at the bottle, I guess. Uh, one last thing. I know Tim was talking about some PlayStation reviews and other stuff. Tim and anybody else that likes Uncharted, um, there's a game coming out called Heavy Rain. You definitely need to check it out. It's PlayStation exclusive. And all the Xbox fanboys out there, I hate to say this, but time to get a PlayStation. Xbox is getting left behind. It was, it was a matter of time. But uh, God of War 3 this year, Heavy Rain, Mag sucks. I'm sorry. It does. Um... Battlefield Bad Company 2, getting that. And uh, my most awaited game of this year uh, for PlayStation 3 would be Gran Turismo 5, if they ever put a damn release date on it. But uh, also, to anybody that does plays racing games, um, I do have a Logitech Driving Force GT, the new one. So if you want me to review that, send me a message, let me know. I'll review that, you know, show you how it is, give you my personal opinion on it. But um, guys, this is no joke. This is no joke. Go check out Mark and Tim Review. They would tell you the same thing. No joke. All right, I'm signing out. This is Brandon. I hope you enjoy. And um, stay tuned for my next few reviews. I'm having some good ones coming up. All right, see you all later.